What we're doing today is triple. We're doing, what is it called, vitamin dip? So you're putting a keratin bond on first. Which helps the glue adhere and stay on. It's probably a D. And I use, it says put a coat, I do three. Don't know, just think it's better. So you're putting three of these keratin bonds. So that's the first um, of the three bottles that you use. And I notice there's blue top, there's an orange top, and there's a purple top. And so it kind of goes blue, orange, purple when you do it, right? Yep. For this, for this brand. Okay. And this, this brand's called and you, this Vitamin only, Dip This or only goes dip. over your natural nail, the bomb. It doesn't go over anything else, nail polish or... So once you've prepared the nails, that you put that on. Right, and you have to prepare and make sure everything is off. Okay, and so now what we're doing is we're going to go, we're doing the one-third... You want to make sure you put your hand in gently, maybe like pushing down. You don't want to put it in like this because you could force the glue to make a, to glob it up. So you put it in flat and push it down so it, okay. so you're not messing up what you just did. Now you do just two thirds of the nail, lightly, lightly applying it, right? Yep. So I just push my finger in. I keep getting me on my see if we can get a better yeah. shot of it here. Excuse me. I'm getting kind of blocked. Yeah, you're getting me. There we go. Blowing that in my <coughs> face. Okay, so you're cleaning off the nail a little bit. And now we're doing the full nail, right? Yep. That's done enough. And then we go to the next one. First we do one third. Doesn't matter how many times you dip it, the glue, it's only going to stick where the glue is, so. So if you're good at painting your nails and not going out of the lines, you can do this. You keep getting me. Okay, well. I felt it drag a tiny bit, like there wasn't enough glue on my brush, so I re-dipped. And your surface is not going to come out completely smooth, but you can smooth that out when you um, do your nail filing after. My nail is breaking here, but the glue is strong, so it'll fill that in. And yes, this destroys your nails like everything... So it's not, it's, it's not, not good for your nails at all. As you can see, my nails are in horrible shape. They're very thin. They're sensitive. I actually have good nails, but I've always liked the look of this. So I've done it. I've so had it done. I used acrylics. Suffering um, for fashion. Yeah. My glue may be about done. Well, good thing we've got another bottle. <laughs> and 
And you put it on like you do when you polish your nails. You should do it in thirds. So you go one stroke in the center and then one stroke on each side. And then sometimes you can go. So I'll do it on this one to show you what I just Look at that. I, I emptied almost all of that out. Oh, my God. I have just enough. Oh, my God. I'm going to be so mad because I yeah, can't. Yeah, just enough for the last nail. I don't know if I do. <coughs> <coughs> All right, so let's go through the whole process on the thumbnail. All right, so we're down to the last one, the thumb. We're going to do one third with that. It's already got the uh, first base coat. And we're going to dip her. Dip it again. Now we're going two thirds. Don't spill it. Guess we could turn this off. Oh, if you want, if you have to. It's so fine, and you get to you actually waste a lot because it gets all over your hand. But I used to brush it off with a little teeny brush, and then I thought, oh, that's a pain in the butt, so I don't. That side is very light glue. Go over there one more time. And last coat. And then we have to put the uh, activator on all the nails, right? No, I put on each one as, as I finished, remember? Oh, you do? Okay. Remember? All right. I'm thinking in the beginning. What is the thing you did in the beginning? That's the keratin bond in That's the beginning. That's the bond. That's just to prepare the nail. So it goes keratin bond, then we do the triple glue. dip, then we put on no. the activator. Keratin bond, <clears throat> glue, activator, which is your hardener. Another word. Keratin bond, right. glue, glue, activator, which is the hardener. All right. Which I just spilled. Oh, there are some. And so that's it. So you've done each nail, though, as Correct. we went along. Correct. All right, so that's it. Now what do we do? Now I start back at the first one, and I file and get the nail smooth where I want it. But once you do that, what do you do? Then I actually just leave it because this is your color, light pink. I um, actually put a, um, a quick dry um, top coat on it. That's this stuff that's really good. That doesn't need a heat lamp or anything. All right, so go, get, go through that, say that all again. So now I'm going to file my nails, each one, smooth them out. And this is done for all intent purposes, but I'm gonna put a top coat on them which is a quick dry top coat, which is this stuff that does not need a uh, lamp light. A lot of them need lamp lights. Like ultra ultraviolet light, right? Right. And so this is really an art onto itself. It, it is, but again, I didn't go to nail school, but... But you seem to know what you're doing. I can do pretty well. So explain the process of filing and exactly why you're doing it and um, how you're doing it. I file and explain two. this. A nail file. I file with two things, a nail file and a, an electric drill. My drill is seen at the Show them the drill day. so they can see what it looks like. I'm using it. How, how do you use it? Show how you turn um, it on. Except for mine's a short so the batteries are... These you have to really kind of know what you're doing. This just helps smooth that out a little faster, but you can cut yourself. You gotta be kind of careful you with have that to be one. Careful. All right, so now explain this, 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 um, what is it? Uh, it's a file, right? It's a nail file. But what is it made out of? In, well, I don't know what it's made out of. I mean, but what are the different sides? What, They're they... all different textures. Okay, they so. They have from really fine to very coarse. 
you can see the texture difference in the um, thing. See, there's almost no texture here, and there's a lot of texture on these. So this one here is for, for more refined. Right. And this is for this more is gross. This is called coarse medium. So they're calling this coarse, and this is medium. This is very hard. These, the, these that are more uh, textured like this are more for fake nails, like acrylic nails and stuff like that. I don't have any fake nails. I don't use them often. Okay. And so you're trying to get underneath the nail? No, and... I'm just trying to square off the nail. Okay, so you're trying to get a certain shape. I'm taking this. off the excess that I put on. I like my nails pretty square with a little bit of a rounded tip. And then you can see how much is going on here. Too many highs and lows. And I'm just going to make it smooth. I just file it until it smooths down. So actually the whole process takes about eight minutes a hand to apply everything. And then you're probably going to be looking at about another eight minutes on filing, right? Well, it's probably a little longer than that. It's easier to have electric drill. My little battery thing is just a cheapy thing that's old, old. So sometimes on these places like that have little divots where I didn't get it right, usually um, I can get it a little better and closer. And these have different heads, right? You can put all different heads on there. And that head that you're using is for more refined work? Yes. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> and so I notice you're going over, you know, all the nails as you're doing it. You have to do each one because they are rough, they're bumpy, and you want them all smooth. And sometimes if it's a little see-through like this, you can go over and do one more coat. Which I will do on this one. All right, so what you're doing now is... I'm just going to do one more light coat on this one that seems to be see-through right down here. So that one didn't get enough uh, of the... Uh... So I'm kind of fading it up towards the top so the heavier part of the glue is down on the bottom. So it will recoat that better. So really that one's now got... And as like... you can see, that's much better than it was. So and then I like... have to put the hardening on again. Okay, so now you're going to put the hardening on. And then you're going to have to refile that again. Yep. Once it dries. But okay. I come back to that one and keep going forward. How long does it take to dry? Um, seconds. It's, okay. almost, it's almost hard now. I notice you're trying to get the edges. Again, I like my nails square. If you can see, this kind of shovels out a little bit. I like them straight up and square. Everyone likes their nails different. I like them more square. And this one's so short because the nail broke, so... Of course, you try to make your nails even. But see, that takes that edge straighter up, not shoveled out on the edges. So once you've done this process of sanding everything down. Then I go over and I put on my clear hardener and top coat that gives it a shine. And that's it. And that's it. All right, so we're like two fingers, and we're, well, actually a finger and a thumb away from having this hand filed. Right, and I do them all at once because I'll put my... Oh, so you put the, you're going to put the sauce on. I'm going to put this on all at one time. So After you've all, done both hands. Yes. You see this little ridge right here. I can get this down a little smoother. Probably 
be fine. It's a tiny bit see-through there, but usually when you get your clear over, it covers that up, so you don't have to be so perfect. It's nice when they all come out nice, but the slightest variation in glue is going to give you a variation in coverage. Okay, and you can actually over sand it too, can't you? I can over sand it to where I sand it down to the nail again and have to dip it again, yeah. So you don't want to do that. So it definitely is a skill that you have to acquire after <laughs> doing that. And you want to keep everything pretty thin. See this, this is how it looks if you look from the edges, so they're all uneven. Now they're getting even and thinner. All right, okay. I'm going to touch these up again next week before I go to the wedding, so I'm not going to do any more of what I just did with that because next week I'll file off the top coat and maybe put another coat on if I have to to make it more thin. Switch into a different. Uh, it's just a newer. So this one it's has probably been... still medium coarse. Well, this says coarse, both sides. So it's a little bit heavier than my other one, which you have to be careful because you can sand off what you put on. Yeah, you don't want to do that. That's so what you want to do is even out what you put on without really sand it off because it's literally just a layer of glue and fine powder. So actually this takes longer, sanding takes longer than actually applying all the stuff. Yes, and if you don't know what you're doing, it will take even longer. So it's definitely crucial. And I'm taking this down a little more because this nail is so short because I want them to all look similar. So you're trying to get them even, is what you're saying. So I remember, remember we redid this one. That's right, you gotta re-sand that bad boy. pretty good at this. Let's take a look and see how the difference between the two. All right, so explain what we're seeing. So these are before I've sanded and these are after. And you can Much definitely better. see a difference, you right? You see how you shape them, you de-lump them, and you make them even. Okay, all right. Then I'm gonna switch on my drill to, even though these don't fit very well. We're going with a different drill? A different drill bit. That just went under there. 